about Butty's ankle just not quite right? Yeah, I've tested it this morning, unfortunately. So um, that'll give an opportunity for Borlace, you know, who we know has played this year already. So um, it's a like for like. But for Butsy, it's unfortunate. It's something we have to keep an eye on now. And hopefully it's only a short term. Is it? So you don't really know how, how bad it is at this stage? Or? Uh, the, uh, look, the docks uh, and high performance guys uh, are on top of it. Um, we're hoping it's it's a week and it's just a pinched, uh, you know, ankle. But we have to keep an eye on it. It's one we you don't want to make any promises, but we hope he pulls up well. So well, that's, that's flared from because obviously I think he was, you know, he had the clubs before last week's game. So that just continued to linger a little bit. Uh, no, it's the other ankle. Okay. So yeah, which in a way is a positive. It's not something ongoing from from weeks prior. Any other selection nuggets for us? Not too many. We, we're not going to make a lot of change. Um, in saying that, we've, we've got to improve. Uh, you know, there was some real positive stuff out of the, the game against Geelong, but more, more areas that we've just got to get right. And so we'll look at that. Um, there may be one, one or two changes, but not a lot. We spoke, we spoke after the game about the connection and the ball movement going forward. Is that one of those yeah. areas that you're talking about? Yeah, that's one of the keys is our ability to, I mean, our opposition beat us convincingly in an area where, you know, we've got to be mindful of not sort of putting it on one area of our game as well. You know, it's our overall game and the way we play footy. We competed right throughout the night, um, let ourselves down with our ball use going forward, which you know, ended up being a, a oppo intercept marks that stood out. Um, one player who, for the opposition had an outstanding game and, you know, we, we probably played into that a little bit too much. So we've, we've got to get that right um, and we come up against another side in, in Frio who um, you know if we don't get that right they'll they'll punish us as well. I suppose like a Luke Ryan is a player who's had a great start this yeah. season do you look at yeah. maybe do you use what you learned last week and try to apply that to someone like him? Yeah and it's overall game again you know if we if we give him too many opportunities he's a similar player to Stuart where he can dominate especially in the air um, so that's stuff we worked on throughout the week uh, small tweaks, you know, as far as when we have the ball in our hands and how we move it. We've seen uh, Shelley and Rankin and Smith's burst going into the midfield. Will you look to inject them more to get, get a bit more power and speed through that engine room? Yeah, we're constantly looking at the midfield and, and I guess how we change that dynamic a little, support what is already in there. I mean, Matty Crouch is in, I'd say, career best form. You know, he's, for the first two rounds of this season, been a standout. Um, we've now got to put some, some players around that that might give us a little bit more explosive outside game. Um, and we're doing that. We've done that you know, right throughout these first two rounds. It'll just be a balance with that, making sure we get the right mix in there. Is there an element of not wanting to take too much of that real craft out of the four line because those guys can go up a few couple of goals very quickly? Yeah, it is. It's a balance of, of where players are. We've spoken about Rankin. He seems to be the one that everyone's talking about. But, you know, we can see what he can do in front of goal if we give him opportunities. Um, but he can also be a, quite a weapon for us around the footy. Was calling your midfield <coughs> vanilla, is, is that a sim too simplistic way of looking at it, given you probably actually beat you along in that area? Um, oh, look, it's everyone's entitled to their own opinion on, and I'd, no one's wrong. You know, it's just what's your story and where are you looking at the game from? Oh, I thought it was a great midfield battle. You know, I thought in the end, and it showed with the coaches' votes, you know, Danger was in those votes and so too was Dawson. And I thought that was probably reasonably even across the day. Um, you know, where they beat us was behind the ball. They had a, a back line that were very well drilled, well structured, uh, and we were unable to, to bring that ball to ground. And if we get it on the ground, it's a different game, so um, that's probably the area we're looking at more so this week. How's Brody taken the week? Feels as though he's become a bit of a whipping boy over the, the first couple of rounds and he's about to play what is it, a really big game personally? Yeah, an incredible milestone. 250 games is a, is a huge effort. You know, 14 odd years of playing footy he's, and he's been a standout for this footy club. Um, he's not in his best form and he's the one who's first to put his hand up with that. He's been great around the group. Uh, we'll do what we can to try and bring him back into form because he's important to us. You know, across half back, that's where the game really gets where you get your rebound and where your attack starts from. Um, you know, we hope we can help him with that and get him back into the form we, we know he's produced over the majority of his career. In both games, you've, you've started behind the eight ball, you've given up some goals and had to try and work back from there. So, everyone 
every coach is going to say they need to find a way to have a good start, but is, is there something you can address or talk about in terms of actually making that happen? Yeah, and it's probably for us more about process than anything. I think we might be getting stuck in the, the bigger picture of, of looking at outcome at the moment. Um, our guys, again, no lack of effort. Sometimes that shows you know, you're trying too hard. You're thinking about how do we win this game of footy rather than just, just the process of each and every moment in the game. So we've done some work around that. It's more of a mindset piece. Um, as I said, there's no lack of effort there. We come out, it's just us being able to build a game, you know, start the game well, even if it is that it's nil all at quarter time. On the weekend, you know, having 39 points against us after you know, one quarter of footy, it's, it's not the position we want to be in. So, so that'll be our work on. He's just taking it moment at a time this week. When you say they've been focused on outcome and then you're looking at zero and two and, and a loss means zero and three, so how do you make sure they, because even more so this week, that could become mm. the focus and yeah. then suddenly you, you win a bit of strike? And that's the work on is, is to not look at that that outcome a bit the biggest season you know even the game as a whole it's breaking it down into those moments key moments first couple of minutes of the game how important it is to start well or at least you know win in half the contest um, yeah we did that on the on the weekend we kicked the first goal Geelong came out knocked in the next four so there's a period of time there you know from around about three or four minutes in the game through to ten minutes where we dropped off um, we've addressed that it's now it's more of a mental issue for us there's no lack of effort or, or, or contest. Um, sometimes it's maybe that you're trying a little too hard in that moment. Has he added uh, focus on team defence in the off-season? Has that changed the way you attack more? It doesn't seem as, as though it's been as free-flying over the first couple of rounds as perhaps it was last week. No, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, the, the first game's a, a tough one. You know, to, to rate our group on how we played in the first week, it was it was a slog, and it and it was a battle. If anything, we probably took too long to adjust to the fact that it was a slog. So it's hard to now look at it from one game and, and use that lack of data to say you know, we we don't have the offense that we had last year. Um, Mind you, in saying that, we've got to improve. And that's what we spent this week looking at, you know, a number of key areas. We're confident that we can do that as well. Bob Shaw got revelations yesterday about the illicit drugs policy. Were you, are you aware of that as a coach, as to how those things play out and, and how that system is set up? Yeah, you yeah, have 100% clarity around the policy. Um, I, I understand exactly why the policy is in place. Um, you know, we spent time with the AFL talking through that policy. Um, it's a welfare policy. It's about looking after our people, um, looking after our players. And so from that point of view, I support it 100%. Um, but I'm not an expert in it. So I'm mindful of you know, making too many comments around it. Um, you know, in saying that, I have, I have clarity of the policy, yeah. So does that mean you don't have a problem if a, if a player was to fake an injury to, to avoid, you know, because they had that something on the weekend to avoid possibly showing up on game day? No, not at all. That's not, that's not what we're talking about here. I'm talking about the actual policy itself. Um, you know, this is a voluntary policy for our players at the moment, and, and, and the AFL are doing it to, tr to put welfare of our players first and foremost. Um, that's what I'm supportive of. Sir, do you understand? Sir Mitchell said today, as a coach, he'd like to know if one of his players are tested positive. Would you like to know? Or? Yeah, and I understand where Sam's coming from when you're working with a player. Um, but again, I, not being an expert in that space, I, I don't actually know what's best for our players. You know, whether that's, and this is private um, medical information that we're talking about here. Um, you have to talk to our doctors about that and what's best to play out. And I think that's what the AFL have done in this in this case. So has that happened in your time? Without going into specifics, obviously, with the privacy, but have there been players that have been out for various reasons that was actually around the, the, the drug policy? Well, no, not, not that I'm aware of, because um, that is the policy. I don't have a line of sight on, on any of that information. And that's where... I guess it comes in, not being an expert in that field, is, is that is that's what's best? I don't know. Broadly speaking, do, do you think, and I'm referring to your club, Mr General, that it compromises the game if, if a player is faking an illness or an issue and not playing a game because of that? No, it's, it's not an area that I want to comment on.